G'day Scrappers. Today I've got myself a couple of uh, Tektronix oscilloscopes and I thought I'd scrap them out and uh, we'll have a little look inside, see if there's anything interesting. Um, this one here, I know I've already scrapped one of these out before, just haven't done it on video and uh, it's missing a few components uh, here at the front. Usually there's three caddies um, there's like three control boxes that slide into the front here, so that's missing. So I might do this one first, get it out the way, just give you a little look. They're, they're actually pretty good to scrap out as far as gold recovery. They've got some really good IC chips usually in, in these ones. Um, I haven't done this model before. So this one's the 7633. This is the 2440. Um, this one's complete, so it'll be interesting to have a look at this one to see what it's like they're both faulty no longer um possible to repair them um i know this because from the place that i pick it up if anyone can repair them they can um this was actually part of a um a larger pickup and it was uh quite a lot of military equipment uh it's my regular client where i pick up military stuff i've scrapped out a few things before um, military wise but um, so I'll yeah in, in a few days or maybe next week I might have a look at what else I picked up um, and might scrap out some military equipment but there are a few items there that I can't actually put on video because they're uh, labeled as classified and uh, so I'll just have to scrap them out myself um, but for now I want to scrap out these two oscilloscopes and see what's inside and uh, yeah, have a little bit of fun. Okay, so let's get this big one out the way. And uh, yeah, as I said, inside there's uh, three modules that go inside it. Uh, they're missing. And um, so not actually complete. It would have been nice to have those three modules. But you just get what you're given. Um, we've got some stuff at the back here, so we'll get into that. Firstly, we just need to um, open up the uh, side panels here. Alright, so. These come off pretty easy. A lot of it's obviously aluminium, um, so we'll get some uh, bit of scrap value there aside from a few circuit boards and uh, obviously the uh, the uh, CRT that's in there. But I can already see some nice gold pins. So that's one side, and. Just get both sides off. Yeah, I always look forward to picking up from this particular company because they do um, some very high end stuff um, and they do a lot of prototypes for um, military and stuff like that. But th these machines are obviously just ones that they that you once used in their uh, workshops. So here are the the main boards and this board in particular is the one that uh, when I first scrapped one of these out I was uh, quite excited about uh, simply because of the IC chips. So there we go. Interesting and I just want to get see if I can get out these circuit boards and I'll show you what I mean so even these connectors these wires you can see there they're uh, got nice gold plugs and uh, yeah really pretty okay it's been a while since I've done this model so I can't actually remember how these slid out, but that's okay. 
I need to scrap the whole thing out, so... That's what we'll do. There's a really nice board in here with pins and stuff. I might actually come from underneath and get this bottom plate out. It might help me out. Yeah, so at least there's some nice aluminium, you know, rather than steel. So, you know, we get a little bit better value from it. Okay, so I think this is what they call the amplifier board, and uh, it's uh, yeah quite interesting in, its, in itself. There's a little fan here, a little motor, and um, really uh, there's not a whole lot. The the tracing on the board is gold. Um, it's just that. Yeah, it's not really going to be a very easy one to get the gold from, so it's probably not for me. But these little things here, um, see this one, get them out. See the nice gold, uh, I think they're resistors, um, gold legs, and uh, gold base. So these are really good little resistors, and they're they just you know mount in so you know you could also read the part numbers and stuff and you might be able to sell this kind of stuff but uh, it's too fiddly for me so I'll get all them resistors out these ones are interesting with the little fins um, but yeah there's quite a few and there uh, is a little uh, ceramic IC chip should be okay but the rest is just, you know, uh, more for uh, the bigger refiners. But I'll definitely keep these resistors. They're uh, awesome. Nice. This one's nicely gold plated. Um, okay. So if I can get this main part out. Wow, some giant capacitors in here. Okay. Well, there's another board with um, a couple more of those finned things, and uh, they might they might be a type of capacitor or a relay. I don't know, but check out these, uh, check out these capacitors, hey, super heavy duty capacitors these, 
Wow. Made in USA too. So I might just see if I can get this out of the the cabinet. Okay. That's a bit better. Just another a basic board and a uh, little bit of a gold plated jack there, but not a great deal. We're a little bit closer. Right. Wow. Check it out for a transformer. It's their own brand name transformer as well. So they obviously make a lot of the components and uh, all these awesome capacitors Sprague capacitors uh, 9600 UF and probably bigger all uh, Sprague and Mallor Mallory yeah really nice interesting uh, board here um, might just keep this this transformer because it will be a very good quality one and um, just with all these capacitors it just uh, it's just a nice steampunk looking piece of contraption. All right, well, we got that transformer out finally. Now, there's really not much to it. Just want to get out this awesome looking board here with all the, it's got a lot of gold pins and stuff running through it. A few things down the bottom here. So, and then, and then get the uh, CRT unit out. It's it's a pretty awkward scrap because you know just it's uh, it's put together very specifically and it's hard to. Uh, work out how they actually put it together <laughs> okay so this one here is just one of the, the planer boards uh, here we have some removable ICs but they're just average ICs still okay um, you know very heavily populated with resistors and you know there's a little tantalum capacitors there uh, you can see this one you know it's it even you know gives you like obviously the positive symbol but it also starts with a T T110 um, so these are the silvery ones the tantalum capacitors and the rest is all resistors another tantalum capacitor there and on the back here yeah interesting but this is the board that I want and this module inside here yeah if it lets me get it we'll be in business Okay, I just need my super long screwdriver, it's like a foot and a half long, it allows me to get into deep areas. Done.
certainly got a lot of connecting wires. They're everywhere. Okay. All right. So this board's getting a bit better. All right. So you can see here we've got uh, three average IC chips, and then we've got the nice gold. Gold legged, I bent this one, I see. So, obviously, if we've got gold legs, you know, it's going to lead into nice gold bonding wire and stuff. So, uh, when you get I see chips with gold legs, you know, you might want to keep them separate. Uh, just depends what you do with your I see chips because, uh, yeah, you might get a higher yield of gold out of these ones. And if you know, over time you build up a lot of them and it's worth processing, then you'll probably get a much higher yield than just mixing them in with regular ICs because there are a lot of IC chips that don't have any gold. So, um, yeah. Um, but if you just throw them in with your regular ICs, if you are going to recover gold, then obviously these are going to uh, make up for some of those that don't have gold. That's for sure. So that was that side, and uh, apart from the other ICs, there's not a lot, but you can see uh, all these little uh, little pins here, they're all gold-plated, really nice, heavy-duty gold-plated pins, and then you can see all these pins in here, all the, that's pretty uh, insane, it's a uh, really deep you know, orange gold-plated pins, so this is what I call a high-grade gold-plated pin tantalum capacitor um, another IC there of gold legs another one here beautiful uh, so there you go so uh, yeah getting into the more high-end IC chips and uh, as I said these gold pins here we've got three sets of these running all the way through there obviously so um yeah it's a you know it's it's three layer board so it's pretty cool um the central board is mostly just for the pins it does have i do see tantalum capacitors in in the middle there and then the two little daughter cards on the top here so yeah really interesting board and um you know, I'd imagine that, well, you know, you've got silver here, silver tracing and all that. If this was sent to a refiner and they minced it all up, and that, that would actually get really good value out of this. Um, you know, that's, there's certainly a lot of silver content. Uh, it's basically just like a, a gold flashed, but it's all silver. Um, tantalums. Yeah, really nice. And a lot of gold pins and really really pretty board that so in this case i'll keep this like this um it's not really fancy enough for my own collection but um i'll certainly when i uh, go to do gold recovery one day i'll be um completely depopulating this board all right now we're almost there guys Probably just sped through this now, just so uh, I want to do the other one as well. Just average board, got some of these tantalum capacitors here, the little red ones, and uh, you know, again, those little uh, resistors with the gold legs, uh, little gold plated bits there. Yeah, quite interesting. Um, Yeah, really, really interesting components. And uh, for an electronics enthusiast, you know, they'd probably like to pick up, a, uh, pick off a lot of things here, because I'd imagine that, you know, they wouldn't normally be very easy to get, or they wouldn't be cheap anyway. All right, but I still haven't showed you the main board that I want to show you. It's this one here. But whether I'm going to get it out. 
We're just going to have to keep picking around it. And it's got to be... There we go. Looks like one screw. Gotcha. All right. So this is the board that I remember from the last one. I think I've still got it complete like that. But um, as you can see, most of the IC chips are all gold-plated legs. So, you know, they're going to be really nice, top-quality ICs here. And it's just a... It's an interesting board. Silver Trace running all the way through. You know, gold jacks. Um, yeah, got some little nice red tantalums. It's just got some really interesting components on it. And because they're all removable ICs, I, it just, you know, interests me a little bit more. So this is the kind of thing I like to keep in my collection. But I've already got one. So um, in this case, I might just put this for depopulating. Keep all these ICs and everything else. Um, yeah, really, really nice, that one. Um, when I saw, when I was doing this pickup and I saw the, these uh, units, I thought, oh, I saw the big one and I remembered and I thought, oh yeah, there's, I'm pretty sure there's something pretty good in there. So, there you go. And just, yeah, all, all these wires with these really nice gold jacks. I just love how they uh, um, they connect in. So see, you got the gold jacks into the board there, and they just slide in like that. That's a really cool um, way to connect wires to a board. Just awesome. Another gold legged IC, and more of these uh, gold legged. Resistors, oh, no, I've lost my train of thought. That's okay. You know what they are. <laughs> Just a, you know, average board. But still, we've got good pins. All the gold pins and everything, you see gold is of a better quality gold than what we're really used to on motherboards and stuff like that. All right, so I just want to get inside this and um, we've still got the CRT tube in here. So leave it with me and let me just finish off some of this stuff. So this here is the uh, flyback transformer for the CRT so it's a little bit different but, um, okay so there we have it interesting looking flyback transformer and even got some tantalum capacitors in there so pretty cool, interesting, yeah, well I didn't expect tantalum capacitors in uh, on a flyback transformer board, but that's, that's what you get, alright. Okay. Hey, okay. So we've got an aluminium cavity we could clean up for aluminium if we want. All right. Okay. So here we go. Not sure I really want to open it up that, that fully. Um, 
but basically that's your your tube there and your CRT in here I think that's as far as I really want to go because it's um, it's basically just a CRT with a really long tube and as you can see that's the end connection there and once I remove these shields then it, it becomes a bit of a hazard you know there's no rule uh, apart from just looking at it maybe in the other one it might be uh, easier to look at but once you remove this shield you got all that glass exposed and it might just be you know just for having hanging around the backyard until I can send it to recycling it's going to be uh, too hazardous so I'm just going to leave this this section as it is because it's just um, it's only you know it would only be to show you what it looks like inside it's nothing really special it's just a long that's the uh, CRT part and then it's just a glass tube running all the way to the back here so it's it's not much um, to see and uh, it's just going to leave me with something very dangerous to have around sitting around so all I'm going to do is just clean it up uh, remove the wires and stuff and I'm just going to send it to recycling just as it is so they know what it is it's a it's a monitor CRT and uh, it can get recycled properly right so yeah that was you know pretty interesting actually uh, you know it's just something different than scrapping out PCs and DVDs and LCD TVs and stuff all the time you know uh, yeah, so obviously got the wire and a lot of it need to clean up for those gold jacks and uh, Here's the boards the CRT a little bit aluminium um, The whole casing was aluminium so you get a bit of value there. So that was just a flyback transformer with the tantrum capacitors uh, Some basic IC chips no gold plated legs on this one But we do have quite a few of the nice silver tantalum capacitors uh, that we can depopulate and uh, still go as a mid-grade kind of board uh, got the huge transformer with all the capacitors on it really high level capacitors and transformer I'll, I'll just keep this whole board as it is because just in case uh, someone that's uh, electric enthusiasts contact me if they're in Melbourne and and they they want something like that um, just a, another basic board a few little things uh, this was just a back panel board really nothing there um, and uh, the fan with the uh, uh, this amplifier board I think it is yeah it, it's not bad it it doesn't have a gold leg IC but it does have it is a ceramic IC chip so that's okay it's got a lot of these removable uh, things so uh, gold plated and all that really nice uh, and then this board here that's uh you know will be fully depopulated with all these beautiful gold pins um three sets of the gold pins and then um pins running right through all three levels so really nice uh yeah um i like this one some tantalum capacitor even uh yeah just uh, a whole lot of stuff even the board itself is silver recovery but because silver is not worth much it's just not worth trying to recover you end up spending more in um, you know chemicals and stuff and time than you would get out of that silver if it was gold it's different and here's the board that's uh, really you know a really nice one for a collectible simply because it's got so many uh, really nice gold legged IC chips you know how many got two four six eight ten twelve fourteen gold leg IC chips so uh, yeah really really super cool this one got all those gold jacks uh, where the where these um, gold plugs go into don't know if you can see it but really interesting little uh, setup there so yeah a really good board one that's uh, nice for a collection but because I've already got one I'll probably just completely depopulate it and that's it so that was the first one that was the big one and I'll clear this off and I think I'll, I'll make this video a little bit shorter so I'll cut out quite a bit otherwise the video will be too long and I'll probably uh, 
dragged on a bit. So let's get to the other one and finish that off and have a look what's inside the smaller one. Hopefully we get some nice boards like this. I've never done the other style, so uh, let's have a look. Okay, now let's get on to this smaller one, which is more complete. At least it's got all the, uh, the whole control panel at the front. And I think it's a little bit modern, more modern than the last one. So we'll just have a look and see what's in this one. Hopefully it's not as complicated to uh, scrap out. Okay. It looks like it's all coming out from the back here. So... Yeah. Well, that's a start. All right. Ah, here we go. I was right. Oh, wow, this one's interesting. Oh, wow. Check out that. That's pretty intense. It's kind of, obviously, it looks a bit lower grade than the last one. It doesn't have, so far, there's no, like, gold-legged ICs. But it's, uh, still, it's interesting. And sort of they almost look like RAM modules that are on board so that's pretty cool too uh, we'll see how far we can get into it by undoing a few screws here and it's different because it's got torque screws as opposed to regular Yeah. Oh, oh wow <laughs> okay well here we go so we've got a, a, a okay board here but this oh, I haven't seen this one before wow look at that that's got some super duper IC chips whole uh, array of it that's pretty insane and this one here is uh, Looks like an EEPROM or something. It's uh, dated 1989. So pretty, uh, pretty sexy board. Wow. Just got to work out how to got these plastic screws and some torques wow this one uh, might be worthwhile keeping an eye out for this model Tektronics system because uh, you know, if you can pick them up cheap, you know, you've got some good, uh, looks like we've got some good boards in here. You know, so it's basically boards wrapped around it. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, I'll definitely keep an eye out for them, like on eBay. Sometimes people sell them, you know, like... You can get stuff like this reasonably cheap sometimes. Okay. Alright, so it's just mostly IC chip and very, very tiny resistors and there's some tantalum capacitors, but they're just so small. Okay. 
And then we got, looks like, oh, okay, oh, wow. Even inside, I can, there's one looks like a basic board, but then there's one that looks really insane as well. Wow, this is going to be a awesome uh, little scrap here. Just going to work out how to get it all out. So I might just keep going around and undoing. Here we go again. Okay, so we've got a. Uh, all right, so this one's unusual. It's also uh, it's the flyback transformer board. So obviously for the uh, the CRT in there. Um, not a high value board, but it's a very oddball unique looking board so but how to get it out is another thing I just have to leave that one in for a while <laughs> if I can just get one board out I think it'll It'll give me a good start. I'm sure there's a trick to it. Because, yeah, this board, there's actually a board directly underneath it. There must be a little trick as to how to slide this whole thing out. Okay, well this is, uh, oh it's a, uh, it's on a hinge. Oh, oh wow, look at that. That was the other board that I was looking at. It's, it's got all these uh, really nice EPROMs and, uh, oh wow. They all look, yep, they're all got the same part number, these have, so. Okay, yep, some nice ceramic EPROMs. Um, it's just a board that's got just a lot of IC chips. Uh, it would like, it would go like as a telecom board if you were to sell something like that as a scrap. But I think, uh, you know, obviously it's certainly not something that I would sell as scrap. I would either keep it as a collectible, as an interesting piece, or, um, oh wow, see even these like you got, see these bullet kind of things, these yellow ones, they're, um, they're tantalum capacitors. Even these red ones might be, I just haven't seen them before, but they're definitely tantalums. Um, the little yellow ones probably are bullet ones. Um, but yeah, it's uh, a pretty insane board. It's certainly got IC chip value and stuff. And yeah, and the other board on the other side is pretty amazing as well. And okay, so we've got a heat sink here on what looks like to be something might be kind of like a Motorola CPU. Uh, that's even even more sexy. Let's see if we can. Oh yeah, it's got a little clip on it. We can just yep. Okay. So it, it's oh wow, look at that. Wow. 8948A um, it's kind of like a uh, 186 or a 286 where it doesn't have pins it's just got the uh, pads that it connects to but that is absolutely magnificent and for the age of the board it's it's oh, it's in pristine condition um, that's definitely a, a nice little collectible 
I don't know how many of these would be around um, to be able to buy easily. But yeah, that that's you know very much like a two eight six. You know, uh, with the the kind of connections connections anyway. It's just gold plated padding rather than pins, and it goes into that and see the pads connect to all those pins running around. How awesome is that? I'm just going to leave it in there because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this board. It's got a awesome little heat sink just wanna I don't want to scratch it okay. just want to clip it back on okay. I think I've got it Alright, wow, that is an awesome chip, um, just don't know whether I want to keep the board as a collectible or, um, you know, obviously it's, uh, I'd like to have a look underneath, but it doesn't look like there's anything underneath, simply because they're wedged together and there's a, uh, just a plastic plate, yeah, so the boards are pretty much blank underneath, just solder. So for now, I'm just gonna keep that as it is. And uh, I just gotta remember where this one was. That's a super beautiful CPU there. Wow, that was exciting. <laughs> really, really exciting. Okay, so yeah, that's an, uh, it's still a, it's a good board because we've got a lot of IC chips. So, you know, we'll get value out of that. Really nice. Um, all right, so there's our CRT tube again. Um, and once again, there's no point in really taking it out because uh, it's only going to, uh, you know, potentially be d uh, dangerous for us. So let's just go in a little bit further. See what we've got under here. So this is uh, obviously the main power board here. It's got a few good things on it, like some tantalum capacitors, but not a whole lot for um, precious metal recovery. So let's get this board off. Wow. <laughs> now that I know that that CPU is in this model, I'm going to uh, certainly put it on my watch list on eBay and uh, Hopefully get notified when one comes up. Because sometimes you can pick these up for like, you know, 10 or 20 bucks. Uh, and in that case, I'd, I'd take five. <laughs> like some braided wire now I'm just not sure what's holding this back I think I know now it's it's on the front okay so we've got this this switch panel do these take off these knobs I won't take them off right now but in each of these switches don't know if you can see it but you can see a bit of gold plating inside there so these are going to be pretty good good switches and the rest will just 
there won't be much on there as far as you know circuitry and stuff but these switches here will probably be worth going for because i can just see the gold plating inside so smashing them up i might see if i've got time once we've scrapped everything else out I've still got to get this big board and it looks like it's all these screws here Okay, that looks like it done the job. Oh, there we go. So there's our massive board and, uh, oh, you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> I just noticed that I was looking at these little nice RAM modules that are sort of onboard modules. But um, we're going to have to look underneath these. Uh, it's just going to be a little bit, I need to find a little, uh, to see what kind of, you know, um, ICs are under there because uh, these ones look a little bit exciting for me. But can you see what I see? Oh, wow. <laughs> There's another two. Look at that. Two of the same. Let me just tap one out. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Three of them. Oh, Wow, I was happy with just one, but to get three into the collection, um, wow, these, they look, it looks like it might be a little bit, a different model number, I hope so, the more variations the better, um, wow, I am so happy about that. Now I've just got to put it back in. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. In you get. Okay, I seem to have it worked out a bit better. There we go. Oh, wow. Two more there. That's, that's super. I want to get into them. Let's just finish off this. i just got to get rid of my chickens. They're walking around my feet. Okay, so we've got the back panel off. Some iron aluminium. We, we do have some nice pins in here. I might take that off later. And I think it's just a matter of getting this uh, last power board out. And we should be done. Right, so yeah, it's uh, it's just a power board, nothing spectacular here. We do have a few, uh, you know, bullet tantalum capacitors we can take off. Um, the rest are just resistors. Might take off a couple of uh, uh, ICs and uh, a few little oddball things. But uh, you know, got some switches here if you go for silver. But mostly it's just a uh, regular power board okay so the rest so we've just got the uh, flyback transformer board here which I see I've just worked out how to take it out <laughs> often I leave these riser bolts in there I, I, I just don't notice them and uh, I don't have my normal tool with me. I think I've left it in the van. My uh, monkey grips. Okay, that should do us. There we go. So yeah, that's just an unusual flyback transformer circuit board. Uh, you know, as you can see, see the you know, really nice gold pins on the uh, ends of these so they're kind of like exposed pins uh, really interesting same with the other one had the same thing see even from uh, here you can see the really nice gold plated pins and that they're, they're uh, really 
good plating. So, you know, and again here, that's uh, really nice. Really nice pins to clean up. So the rest is just, you know, this CRT tube again. And once again, I don't want to take it out. Um, even though this uh, cap for the CRT looks interesting. Might get this out. Simply because it looks like... Yeah... Okay, so no, nothing special. So there you go, that's just the back of the CRT long tube into the actual screen. So we don't really want to mess much with this. I'll just take off the wires later on and send it off to recycling and let them deal with it. Um, so we've got that flyback transformer. I'm just going to keep this because it's a very unusual flyback transformer board. Um, never seen one like this so I'll definitely keep that we've got that power board there's uh, stuff to get off this even some nice copper spools uh, that'll be scrapped out we've got this board that I want to continue looking at um, just uh, one with IC chips and stuff good value this one here with the uh, gold plated pins inside the switches so they're gold switches sometimes they're just silver but these ones are all gold and because there's so many of them um, it's worth getting all them out so I'll do that and then we've got this awesome uh, board um, this one's just mostly IC chips and the other side well we've got that beautiful CPU in there and we've got some EPROMs and, and stuff like that. It might even be worth, because the part numbers are so clear, it's probably worth checking out these part numbers and just make sure that they're not, you know, super rare or something like that, because they're all um, dated 1989. So, you know, it's vintage sort of stuff, really. You know, it's getting close to it anyway. Uh, probably not exactly vintage, but uh, yeah, so I'll just keep the, this intact like this. Um, with the spacer in the, in the middle uh, just really awesome how they've put that together and my prized CPU in there and obviously I've got two more prized CPUs there uh, I just can't get over um, I love the 186 and the 286 pinless um, gold padded uh, CPUs and the fact that um, these ones are sort of slightly different I think they're all different ones if they are it's even better it just goes uh, it's just a much nicer addition to the collection uh, so now all I've got left here to do just out of interest's sake is to remove some of these heat sinks and just have a look at uh, what we've got underneath okay now let's let's get under these heat sinks and just have a look at the the chips underneath or whatever is underneath Hopefully we get a nice surprise. Oh, okay. Okay. So, this is really bizarre. Now you can see those contact points and see that they're, they're not gold, they're silver. Right? I don't, I'm assuming they're silver. And you can see that the, the contact points there, they're all gold. So, that's really unusual. Um, why they would have, it's either, it might not be silver. Why they would have silver on top of gold beats me. It would, you'd think it might even be a palladium or platinum or something. Could be anything. But it's ceramic and it's white ceramic just wondering if these I don't think they come out surely yeah it's white ceramic I'm gonna have to see if I can I suppose there's a part number there Tech US December 1989 so it's all 89 components but it's just a 
it's a ceramic. So I'm gonna, you know, I'm I'm not gonna be able to just leave them like that without knowing what's inside. So I'm gonna have to sack. Oh, here we go. Oop. Okay. So yeah, it's just it was just sort of like glued on with a silicon glue. And wow, that is really bizarre. So it's it's a white ceramic. Um, but yeah, it's I can see gold sort of around in the corners, but this stuff here, I just don't understand if if that's silver, I don't understand why it would be silver on gold. It's not the right mixture, I don't think, because silver does corrode and tarnish so you would lose the contact so i'm assuming that this is probably platinum or palladium i don't know really if they use palladium as a contact yeah i'm gonna have to probably just look up one of these part numbers but yep and it's a complete ceramic it's all ceramic how unusual so yeah that's really bizarre um yeah but it, what's thrown me are these pins here are all gold plated pins the contact pins so you know i just can't see why silver would be contacting onto gold because it wouldn't last long um but maybe because it's in this sealed kind of um heat sink thing that's probably but i can't see gold yeah that might be what keeps the moisture out i'm not sure but i can definitely see gold sort of underneath this black ceramic so and i'm just wondering what's inside these ceramics but really interesting wow this this board is super cool um i'll, I'll, I'll just take off another one of these yep okay so this one well this one's interesting too wow i've never seen ones like this so once again it's got gold contacts down on the board and what looks like silver but you can see because there's a smaller ceramic you can see the gold tracing all going the bonding wires all going to meet every one of these little pads that is super awesome and cool i've never seen anything like it and uh, i'm going to have to look up these part numbers and you know maybe do a bit of research just out of my own interest so you know i can see there are mlccs running around i've got this nice ceramic here yeah really really cool so i'm imagining there's nothing underneath this It'll be just like uh, this one, where it's just glued onto the aluminium heatsink. And I'd imagine there would be some kind of uh, um, chip underneath this ceramic, or maybe inside the ceramic. Uh, I'm not sure. But that's a really bizarre looking, kind of like a, a CPU chip. Now I'm wondering what's underneath these ones. And then there's smaller ones. Actually, these ones being a higher heat sink might be. Oh, wow. So this one. Okay. So this is more like it, you see. So giant ceramic. But you can see the contact pads here are all gold. Okay. So that's what threw me off with these ones because they're all. They're there's only little bits of gold where it meets and I don't understand why it would be silver it has to be platinum or something but there's what I was kind of I would have thought in in the other ones see you can see the beautiful gold pads oh that's fantastic <laughs> this board uh, go out and get one of these oscilloscopes because my gosh that's you know whatever it is it's got to have collectible value just in itself and uh, but I don't really want to break it but at the same time if it breaks it's 
yeah I might have to heat it up and let it uh, let the glue melt just so I don't chip the corners and get it out but um, yeah because there's no part numbers on this oh yeah nothing B E O or B E C B E O yeah, that that's fantastic so I'm assuming that the same things under there the only different one here is these little ones and don't forget we've got these two beautiful 186 286 type of uh, CPUs okay Okay, let's have a look at these. We've got some resistors stuck on it. Oh, long ones. Oh, and again, it's it what looks like silver first, leading onto gold, but giant little ceramic on it. And again, gold contact points here. Uh, but we do have a part number here. So this is just super awesome. I wonder what they are. I hope someone sees this video and knows what we've got here um one two three so that's the same as the other ones seven two three eight so this one looks different as well this one's going to be different um that one looks the same oh just incredible uh so that's one of them and that's the silver one I might because I've already broken this I'll probably break into this ceramic and see what we got in there um, hang on okay so I've just cracked it in half and what's even more interesting now is that the ceramic is an empty cavity in the middle so it's like a you know it's covered see there's a gap in there and so this side, I suppose I could just chip off this ceramic now. And so there's no, nothing within that ceramic. It's just clean. And so there we've got part of the circuitry. And I can see, you know, the gold bonding wires running through. And a um, couple of little oddball modules that I would no idea what they are. And in this one... Well, this half okay so it looks like the main processor die right, let me just get this part off all right so that's our that's this chip with the silver parts on the end and you can see the gold processor die in in the center there and um, yeah, some MLCCs running along here and a couple of weird things there and then just gold um, trace bonding wires sort of running along but uh, really interesting hey um, this is what I love about oddball electronics is I find stuff that I never see <laughs> and um, but now that I know what one of them looks like, you know, um, I can keep the rest, like this one here, yeah, that, that's okay, but these ones here, these just look insane with the, um, because they've got the gold pads, I'm imagining that there's going to be, you know, it's going to be quite impressive inside, and the size of the ceramic, um, you know, we might have a quite a decent size um, processor die in there. <laughs> that one's pretty much similar to the other one it's just a little ceramic um, wow sorry I've probably gone on way too long <laughs> on this um, yeah I, I suppose we'll cut it there because uh, I, I, I could go on for hours um, with this board alone just uh, a bit there for me to research research all these modules 
and um, see what they actually are or if anyone um, has experience with these kind of things let us know what they are and um, yeah save us doing a bit more you know our own research but yeah I'm definitely going to be looking them up and they're the long ones a couple of them there's also another nice big one here looks a little bit different um, yeah just uh, super awesome how's that for a board and uh, I'll throw these in with uh, ceramics broken ceramics that I've got and uh, yeah so that's it that's our super board can't get any better than that this one's still pretty good with uh, one of those CPUs and double sides and some um, oddball boards so there we go guys hope that was a little bit of fun for you and uh, this was the model number the Tektronix 2440 so obviously the components were all made in 1989 so it's about that era in the 90s it's not really super vintage so um, I'd imagine there'd be quite a few of them around if you find them cheap and you're interested in this sort of thing you like those kind of collectible CPUs these oddball things and just a lot of chips and a lot of great things um, you know if you can pick them up cheap grab them uh, luckily I this was in a uh, pickup that I done this week and uh, there's actually a lot more stuff I've got um, this was part of their workshop material but I've also got some interesting military stuff and uh, hopefully uh, there might be a few bits that I can show you and scrap it out as well. Alright guys, keep scrapping, have fun, catch you next time.